enough. That's send enough. His homies to get you. That's enough, Mitchie. He Mitchie. take flights for Allah Box and send his homies to get you. Hey, <laughs> hey, you a cold piece, my guy. Much love, homie. Um, before we even start, man, I just want to let, let you know, man. I appreciate you for coming on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, legend in San Diego. You done a lot for the culture. Um, man, I've been bumping your shit forever, bro. When I first came to San Diego, I'm not from San Diego. You know what I mean? I've been here from since '98 when I first touched down. You from San Diego, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> hey, when I first touched down, bro, Mitchie was bumping. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Um, you're a very busy man, bro. I've been following you for a little bit, you know, and on social media. I'm seeing you everywhere, bro. You're doing shows, you're touring everywhere, and you, you, you know, you found the time to come uh, kick with a brother. You know what I'm saying? I seen you doing your thing, bro, and the shit was looking clean, and, and I and I and I like what I saw. And plus, we didn't already did a couple of things together, homie. So you know, it's all love. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's get it from the beginning, bro. You know what I mean? Let's take me back to that five year old. You know, growing growing up in San Diego. You know, I know this is the basics, but a lot of my people, you know, no, we can go over all yeah. that. Matter of fact, don't run from it, homie. Whatever you want to get on, because I know you're gonna get on some real shit. So I'm <laughs> with it, homie. Hey, I got so many questions for you, bro. For real, run it. But yeah, so I just want to get you know, take me back to that that young Mitchy Slick. How'd you grow up in San Diego? You know what I'm saying? Tell me about your uh, growing up in San Diego. Let's, it's a long story, so we're going to go fast. Okay. My moms and pops moved out here from Texas. I mean, my moms and pops grew up like brother and sister. My grandfathers was best friends. You know okay. What I mean? And so they, they was, in, a, they was in, in the service together. And then they moved to San Diego and brought their families, bro. Okay. And, 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 and then came me. You know what I mean? And um, I, I've been, I lived in Southeast. My family lived in Southeast the whole time we've been out here. Okay. I think my grandparents before I was born, on my, my pops' parents, they moved to the coast. I think they was living on L Street, back in back when, before I was born. But when I was born, uh, moms brought me home from Paradise Valley, homie, straight to um, straight to um, what is that? What is that right there, homie? So if you're going up Euclid, <clears throat> what's that right there, Papa Don? Euclid, past the trolley, past market, the next left. What's the elementary over there? Horton? Is that Horton? Horton? Yeah. You know them apartments, it was right on the corner, right on Euclid? Yeah. I went, I came home, I'm, I'm straight off Euclid, homie. You know what I'm saying? And um, and then and then we made our way to Skyline, homie. Believe me, I almost was the Skyline nigga, homie. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> hey, 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 my family was on Brookhaven. Right okay. here. Just for those that know, if you coming out the if you coming out the side of Meadowbrook, like behind Circle K, and then you turn right to go to Brookhaven, that the, that backyard in that corner house right there, that was my house. Like the back of my house was connected to Meadowbrook Apartments. Y'all almost had a y'all almost had a good one over there. G. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, that's funny. But um, but I, I I'm talking about this shit in depth mm -hmm. because everybody know. Um, I was just talking to the big homie Trey A from the hood the other day. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, um, from 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 um, from from forties. Right. It's a lot of influential Southeast niggas that grew up in this area right over here called the Valencia Views. Mm. Valencia Views is basically them houses that's in between Valencia Park and um and 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 sixty first. Okay. Over to the left, in between Imperial and Skyline, sixty first to Valencia Parkway, that little area right there, a lot of legendary homies, the homie Dorian, Terrell Davis, Boss Hall. Yes, sir. Um, the homie Baby Sagan, I and I, Michael Catlin. Let's go. Um, 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 e even Tiny Mad later on, you know what I'm saying? A lot of influential homies, uh, I think uh, Black Dave. Let's go. Like from all different neighborhoods, started right in this little area. Yeah. And I was a little kid going to Valencia Park over there. So that's where it started for me. You know, mine's and pop split when I was seven. I left from over there when I was seven. But it was a lot of influential things I did in that time that I remember. Like we was getting it in. Like at, at five years old, I was getting it in, homie. Like literally out on the streets with the homies, getting it in. Damn. I ain't gonna say what I was doing, but I never thought of myself as no bad kid, but I remember the first time I ever got arrested, homie. I was in the second grade, homie, going what? To, going to Valencia. I'm not no bad nigga like that. I don't have no jail history or none of that shit like that. You know what I mean? But I we was fucking up, throwing rocks at the police on the way to school in the morning, <laughs> homie. <laughs> Straight up. Hey, you just a menace. I, 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 I always had good grades, though, homie, so. So you just bad, but you in in school you just did your thing in school though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Golly, just, just little kids playing. But I started off over there, homie. Shout out to all the homies over there I grew up with, homies from from motherfucking uh, B Hog and and Tazane and all the old feral homies over there. And 
you know, we we was all one back 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 as kids. You know, we all played at Valencia Pop Pop Warner, yeah. Valencia Park Pop Warner. Yeah. But that's literally the breeding grounds of where everything started for all the real Southeast niggas. Pop Warner, if it wasn't Skyline, Balboa, South Bay, Valencia Park, it all started for us right there. And that's where it kicked off for me, just being a Southeast nigga at Valencia Park, Pop Warner. Shout out and rest in peace <laughs> to the to OG uh, Papa Fears, man. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, that. Okay. Uh, so when did you, when you just start getting into music? Where, how'd you get bridged into music? Uh, like I always say when I when I talk, I think everybody, homie, everybody once upon a time had a little little, little notepad. Homie, okay. Where they wrote a rap or two down, you know what I'm saying? Mitchy, I need to know what that first rap though. I need you know to know what? it. Uh, I'm going to tell you. I remember. I know who remember <laughs> it. I think, um, who remember that rap? I forgot that shit. I don't know because I done made so many. I used to know it yeah. all the way up until I started rapping and then I forgot the motherfucker. Damn. But, um, I, I remember that rap, homie, but but um what happened was was um the big homies, um, Romy Rome from Emerald Hills, homie, and the big homie Scarface from Brims mm-hmm. had a label called Bottom Up Records. And they was over there rocking. They had Damu over there. They had a few other artists over there, but at the time Damu was the main artist putting work in, homie. And um I was I was just coming over there being supportive of what they had going on. And um when I started seeing what Master P and them was doing. Okay. That was the first time I was like, damn, you don't have to get accepted. You don't have to go past this test and get approved by some label mm. to get to get cracking. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Master P showed us that. Master P was like, you know, I'm going to do it out the trunk. And I remember why I liked Master P, because I felt like there was some real niggas that was hustling, that was getting money investing their money into their music and made the shit crack and it was off of his reputation that 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 people bought in what he was doing so mm. i was like shit oh they for sure gonna buy into what i'm doing because i'm around this motherfucker going crazy right now <laughs> and there's plenty of niggas in my city to vouch for it you know what i'm saying yeah 18 19 20 you know what i'm saying really low riding really on datings yeah really elko all that as a teenager and i and i knew that you know i i I felt that that was what was going to get me on. Later, I found out that that's not what gets you on. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that gets you famous, but that you got to have your business right and all that. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, man, that's what got me wanting to get on it. When I saw what, what Bottom Up Records was doing with the homies, they had a real studio. You know what I'm saying? They had This was fucking way back in goddamn 98, 90, 99. That's when I first made it here. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I saw what they was doing, and 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 and, and, and how Mu Damu was 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 bubbling, homie. I was like, shit, fucking, let me get a try, man. Mm-hmm. And um, the homies really wasn't tripping off me getting on the mic at first. I'd be trying to get on the mic, they wasn't really fucking with it or whatever. And then um, you know, I was a, a active. I can't. My mama gonna get no. Mom, mom, I'm sorry. affiliated. I was, I was affiliated. Like, yeah, man. Salute to my mama. She did her best, homie. You I heard know, that. I have one of the mamas that didn't do that shit. You know. What, what made you become affiliated? Um, when you grow up, when we grow up, homie, you automatically affiliated. Mm. It, it ain't no way around that. You play for Valencia Park, the neighborhood you from, wear green. Your mama up in the stand saying, "Go big green." Let's go. Uh, the niggas y'all playing with. They neighborhood. There's the gang in their neighborhood. Wear this color, the same, the color that they hood is. And yeah. And your coach telling you fuck up number eight, and and they and them niggas trying to fuck you up, and they tri- tri- it, it started early, homie. You 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 could not be a gang member all you want. You could say you not in it all you want. Mm. That sh- that ain't gonna keep you from getting your ass whooped or keep them from not liking you or no shit like that. So really, like I always say, it wasn't my mama fault. My mama did a good job. You know what I'm saying? But everybody always, I know we bouncing around. We're gonna get back, but for sure, yeah, yeah. But while I'm on this, a lot of times. You, you hear the mama say, oh, well, I didn't raise you like that. But then when you really think about it, like, how many hours of a day are you with your mama? That's true. You wake up at 7 o'clock, your mama fix you breakfast, get you ready for school, you go to school, school start at 8, you at school all day, your mama don't get home till 5. You got practice at football practice at 5. Yeah. So you go to school all day, you walk to football practice, you got football practice from 5 to 7. Nigga, I'm in the 8th grade. Like, mm. how late am I? I mean, I'm in the 6th grade, the 3rd grade. How late you going to stay up? You only with your mama for an hour a day or two hours. She cook you some food, help you with your homework. You take a shower, you go to sleep. Mm. Mama could do whatever she want to do, but the majority of your influence is coming from your friends and the people that's in the street. So you're influenced by your environment. Come on, bro. Damn. 
my mama and them, my mama was a college instructor. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My my whole family is 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 educators, especially in Texas. When I went back, I tripped. You know what I'm saying? They, my family. I don't come from no family that's like. I mean, we live in a hood. We a block away from the park. But my but my family um. My family um. You know, my family pretty much you know. Yeah. Straight on the up and up. Yeah. They, they went. They the younger ones went to Lincoln and and grew up in a neighborhood, but far as you know a lot of jail and a lot of you know a lot of a lot of welfare and hard shit that we have to go through in the hoods my family really didn't really didn't um do that but it it don't matter i grew up like that because when you grow up in you know where we grew up shit you you grew up in the household with everybody else on the block i grew up on man street mm-hmm. right there the street that leads up into Lincoln Park, you know what I'm saying? Right. My grandmama taught at Lincoln, Miss Thomas, you know what I'm saying? We entrenched in that shit over there, you know what I mean? 100 percent So it, it's not it ain't it ain't no signing up, I want to be a gang member shit. No, it's some girl likes you that cheer for the other team. Mm-hmm. The nigga that like her be on the phone with her and he say fuck him, we gonna fuck them up Saturday. And she call you and tell you, what's the name? Say they gonna fuck you up Saturday. Damn. And then you go, well, fuck that nigga. Tell them nigga we gonna fuck them up Saturday. There it go. It's all right. There it go. Hey, that's so, eight years old. Killing crazy. Um, since we're on this topic now, yeah. do you have any regrets being a gang member? I never. I ain't finna sit up on this. <laughs> <laughs> being a gang member. Or, or be on the do I have a grit living affiliated. the life that I lived? Yes. How can you have a regret about something that you had no choice of? That was. Regret, I didn't have no choice. Right, right. I was the only child growing up in, in the in the most active part of San Diego. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Mm. Lincoln Park, Logan Ave, the dip in 86, 7, 8, 9. Mm-hmm. There was the popping dope spots in San Diego right right around there. There was the most active shit going on right there. Right. I'm not, I mean, I know the young homies from other neighborhoods have been told different things because everybody going to tell that young homie certain shit. Right. But yo, everybody big homies knows what was popping 86, 87, 88. Absolutely. Logan Ave. Straight up. Yeah, it was crazy. So it wasn't no way around that. My mama moved me on the Ken Apartments. We lived in the dip. Fifth grade, I'm living in the dip on mm. Logan Ave. Mm. You know what I'm saying? M. Ham, Ice B, Melly Mel, Tone Bone. These is all, these was my friends. If y'all know them today, it wasn't no. Like these, <laughs> these yeah. niggas. Come on, Josh Nitty, Ace Wiki, I mean, Pooh Nitty. I met Lincoln, Lico, Little Soft. That's I, crazy. I'm saying these names you don't know. I know some of them. Okay, but I know some when of them. niggas hear these names, yeah. these are California wide known names. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. All through the streets, all through the penitentiary, all that. I had to go to elementary school with these niggas. Hey, I'm 42. Just let you know, man. Oh, oh G status, man. Okay. <laughs> G status. <laughs> um, I can't regret it, homie. I heard that. I, heard I wish. That. I wish. I wish my mama and pops and family moved to goddamn Rancho Santa Fe or La Jolla. But it won't be no Mitchie Slick then. That's for sure. Um, so let's get back on your music. So give me some of your musical uh, influences coming up. Um, just a history fact. Just a history. An old school history fact. Niggas got to look up Soul for Ernie. Mm-hmm. Soul for Ernie. I was a baby. But this probably the first nigga that had a rap record out in San Diego. He grew up on on Mount Amet Street. Yeah. So I was around it. My pops and them was had a band, Command Performance, had deals and shit. Mm. Deals. Southeast niggas had deals back when I was a kid, and I didn't give a shit about none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Pops was around all the time, but he was a DJ. I'm, I'm dropping jewels right now. I'm, I'm okay. listening. I'm listening. I'm all ears, bro. So the Valencia <laughs> View niggas, right? They mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. They have an annual function over there in this area I'm talking about. Every year it's like a potluck. The family community over there. I think they kind of moved to the block over. Mm-hmm. But in the 80s, early 80s, my pops was a DJ. Latimer Court, y'all. All the Southeast niggas. Latimer Court. It's a, it's a cul-de-sac. The middle house was my house. Mm-hmm. My nigga pops used to go to Balboa Park and rent like a hundred pair of roller skates, homie, and block the street off on the end, homie, pop our garage open, homie, turn the tables out, homie, and get to spinning, homie, and nigga, we have a roller (laughs) rink in the middle of Southeast, homie, roller rink, functions, barbecue, music, cracking, all that in the block. I was influenced by shit like this coming up. You and niggas don't know nothing like this, you know what I'm saying, in Southeast. And um, that's the type of shit that influenced me. Now, as, as time went on and rap, 
came out. Come on, homie. From Easy to Above the Law. Shout out to the big homie, um, Big Hutch and shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, but once I first first heard MC8, Ooh. I was like, okay. Which song? What song? Um, growing up in the hood. All the first songs. You okay. Know what I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, Shout to MC8, bro. You know what I'm saying? All, all uh, driving Miss Daisy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Music to drive by, all that shit. I was like, damn, this nigga is is rapping about. If y'all really want to understand it, he was the first rapper that I know was uh, like an active gang member. Right. Ice Cube and then was talking about the hood and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Ice T and then was talking about the shit, but NC8 was talking about little nigga shit. He was talking about gang banging. Yeah. Dope sacks in my drawers, running, jumping fences, getting away from the police, enemigos coming through shooting, we mm. shooting back, go you know, that type of shit. Mm -hmm. I hate to sound like just some maniac ass nigga, but when you grow up where we grow up, you know what I'm saying? This is what it is. You know what I mean? You can relate to it. I could relate to it. Right. Huh, at the time. And I'm and then keep in mind, even though I'm saying all this savage, super gangster shit. I'm still a nigga that go to perform in art school. Mm -hmm. I'm still the nigga that quarterback for the football team. I got decent grades. So I just wasn't no street troll and no shit like that. Mm -hmm. But I was doing all the street troll shit along with doing all the other shit too. Cause that's what my family would teach me in the house. The, right. The universal shit. And then living where I live, it wasn't no choice. You talking about choosing, mm. choosing choices. Do you want to get kicked in your ass and slapped on the back of your neck every day walking to school? Mm. Or do you not? Interesting. I got a story I tell. It's it's a it's a good one, homie. Uh, it's it's about a one a big homie from my neighborhood right now, uh, from 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 my neighborhood, Kenny Demon. He like a big brother to me, homie. You know what I'm saying? He down right now for whatever. But uh, I remember sitting on the playground one day and the bell rung. And um, shout out to Black Mikey. Black Mikey was an older homie when I was third grade, eighth, fifth, sixth grade or whatever. <laughs> Black Mikey. Mm. I remember Black Mikey, I was walking, I was tying my shoe one day, Black Mikey would walk up and kick me in my ass when I was a little kid. And I'd get up and try to steal on Black Mikey and he like held my head back while I was swinging. Yeah, yeah. He's like, little nigga, <laughs> you hard, you can roll with me. Sunning you and shit. I hated Black Mikey. Mm. I'd be with him every day though. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be walking around with Black Mikey, I would fuck Black Mikey up, but mm. that was my big homie, so I'd be with him anyway. Yeah. Kenny Demon sat me down one day after the bell rung at, at lunchtime, and he said, um, cause you know, moms had their issue. They had their paper right, you know what I'm saying? 22, right. 23, buying brand new houses and shit in Southeast and shit. Let's go. Pops, you know, pulling up in Porsche and all that shit Damn. in Southeast. You Damn. Feel me? I'm on, I don't know nothing but Nordstrom's. I don't know no none of that rest of that shit. At a young age? Very young. Let's go. Third grade, so they move, We they break up. I moved from the Valencia v Views, which is mm. nicer ghetto shit, right. to the Link Port, it ain't mm. number five, six, seven blocks away, but, and uh, I'm going to school with Argyle socks on and penny loafers and shit. God damn. But I've been, I've been over here thugging with these niggas still though. Yeah. I get to, I get to Knox and I'm every day thugging with the little niggas and shit and the big homie Kenny Demon see me down and just say, um, hey little homie, check it out, let me holler at you. He about four years older than me. He mm -hmm. said, look little homie, uh, you hard no. just think, just think. You sending your little eight year old kid to school Dressing him up, my mama thinks she got a nice little son, and it's an older nigga at school sitting him down, mm. and he's saying, "Hey, little homie, check it out. You hard, but you gotta tell your mama to quit dressing you like that, homie." Damn, hating on you? Nah, like, like you one of us. You can't dress like that no more. So why did he make you dress? Why I don't, I don't explain it to me. I got on rich kid. I look like what's, what's wrong with that, bro? That that's, that's, hey, that's, what the wear, that's what these motherfuckers wear. That's what they wear anyways, bro. But that's not the uniform. Over I got there. you. I got you. And so I remember, I remember being popular and 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 winning, being the vice president at school and shit. Damn. And the teacher telling me, it's a trip these times, homie. How shit has changed because it was a little bit more. You know, I'm older now. Shit, it was a little. I'm, I'm old nigga now. Shit. Yeah just how different the racial shit was. And I remember the teacher telling me, hey, hey um, Sean, now that you've won, won vice president, you might want to stop wearing your hair like that and dressing like that. Damn. And I remember I had the cornrows with the hair net and the yeah. golfer hat and the Pendleton on, the Levi's starched up, 
Chuck Taylor's LP on the tongues in elementary school. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Flagging, telling my mama, "Hey, mama, can I can I take this handkerchief so I could pat my afro at school?" She like, "Go ahead, baby." Me and Ice be in the room ironing up our flags in the fifth grade. Damn. You know what I'm saying green flags. For those that don't know, I'm history. You, you, you used to wear green, black, or red mm. if you was a blood and dago. I remember that being a little kid. So sorry, all the other uh, viewers. We we on some ignorant gang shit. Right now. <laughs> this is a story, bro. This and is it, a story. Anyways, yeah, it go back like this. Mm. And so, um, I I just remember those days, homie. And it wasn't no choice for me. It was I went to school. I didn't have no older brothers. I didn't have no older relatives. I didn't have no sister. It's just me, a little nigga, mm. getting sent into this shit in the early 80s and I gotta go to school with all these niggas like I named legendary savage niggas and I had to figure it out homie you ain't gonna tell your mama if somebody slap you upside your head you mommy they hit me in school you, yeah. you can't do that nah you gotta figure this shit out my mama don't even know this shit happened but imagine being that young and having to figure that out on your own that's crazy bro I really had and I'm talking about savage niggas yeah. he sat me down and said homie you can't dress like that homie you gotta dress like this right here mm. he gave me the script and that's what it was that was part of what I had to do so you saying choose I didn't choose mm. it, it was what, what you do you know what I mean Yeah, yeah. I don't have no brother I don't have nobody to come back me up it's right. gonna fight for me and fight with me and all that shit. Yeah, and I'm a young nigga. I'm I'm like a grade ahead. Mine thought it was cool to start me early and shit. So not only am I I ain't no big nigga. Mm. Then I'm a young nigga, mm. younger than everybody else in my grade. Then I'm a fresh nigga. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm pulling come diamond bags, GTs, all that at school, all that. Damn. Come on, I have all. I ain't never got no bike stolen. None of that type of shit as a young. I had to yeah. figure this shit out as an only child mm. over there. It was it was tricky and niggas. Hearing these stories, they could be like, yeah, that might have been a little tricky. Yeah, for sure. But ain't no Mitch getting his ass whooped, beat up, slapped on, none of that shit through the whole history. If you is, nigga, and you think you, you did, go put it in the comments. Ain't nobody finna put that in the comments. Let's go. Straight up. Let's go. So, I heard a story. Um, you was driving down the street, and you stopped at a light, and uh, somebody tried to bang on you, you know what I'm saying, and somebody shot your friend in the head so tragic moment for you how did that affect you mentally fuck me up mm. turn me into a monster mm. it made me very angry and it made me feel like you could never imagine this feeling mm. it is it's, wor- it's way worse than me actually getting shot because mm. I didn't even notice it was, a, it was a, a, a young female in the car with me you know what I mean I had just met her that day some motherfuckers put up on me at the light on Logan Ave. And um, I was in my El Camino, a young, reckless nigga. I was do, doing shit that I ain't never did since then, you know what I'm saying? Cross town niggas pulled up, shot in the car. And I thought they shot me. I ducked, sped off, looked over. She was laying in the passenger seat with her eyes wide open, looking up in the sky on me. God. Damn, that shit gave me chills. That's crazy. Fuck me up, mm. man. I'm sorry to hear that. No, that fucked me up. I yeah, don't lie. Yeah, but it, the, what fucked me up was the the fact that this happened to her on my watch, and mm. what her family would possibly feel about that. And I just want to say to that to that young lady that died in my car, to her family, y'all have no idea how. I don't even know what to say. Yeah, but if there is anything that I could ever say to them, I just want to say. I mean, it wasn't my fault, but shit, I'm just, I'm sorry for them that that shit happened, but that shit fucked me up for so long, and everybody knew it fucked me up, because I was acting, I was burnt Yeah. at the time. Mm. I was I was tripping. <clears throat> A lot of homies wouldn't even fuck with me after that, because I was on some other shit. Yeah. And they told me that after we grew up, they was like, Slick, you was kind of crazy after that, homie, we wasn't fucking with you too much, you was tripping, because mm. I had grew up, that happened, I grew up. It yeah. was all 18 and 19. That happened that night. I instantly turned 25. Damn. I'm not on no kid shit no more. Uh, y'all playing and whatever. I'm not playing no more. Mm. And everybody still kind of wanted to play and shit. And from that, another one of my close, close homeboys died at that point too. Right. And he died doing some shit that I we used to try to keep the homies from doing. Like, yeah. And this is just in this small six-month period. 
my homie Bubba Cheeks, rest in peace, got killed on Logan Ave. And and he got killed going out to do some shit that the, all the homies was trying to ditch me. Mm. Nah, I slick don't want to go out and have no fun. I'm like, hum, we can't go out. We can't do this in the daytime. Do this in the in the middle of the day and then at night be at the club hanging out and partying and shit. And then after Bubba died, it it woke all the rest of the homies up too. We all grew up at that time. We was all it takes some shit like that. Everybody get grown grown up when they when those type of shit happen. Occurrences happen. One hundred percent. How do you stay how do you stay sane, bro? Like all this, you know, turmoil around you, a lot of a lot of death, a lot of stuff going on around you, you know what I'm saying? How do you stay, you know, straight, man? I don't know. But I, I, I just now start asking that question in the last couple years. It's a trip because sometimes when you're in the middle of certain shit, you don't really understand. Mm -hmm. You don't even think of it as being. It's not normal. But you think it's normal. Exactly. But it's not. It is normal. when you when, But then when you look back and you be like, damn, we was doing that shit. Mm -hmm. So I, But now I'm getting older to where I could think and sit down and kick back and shit like that. Like, it grow you up, homie. Yeah. But still, though, like, mental health is really big in our community right now. With mental health awareness, like, that's PTSD at the finest. I, I, I just, what it is, is I got this mechanism in me that make me forget about certain shit. Mm. And I don't know nothing about it. I don't know how to channel it or how to use it. I just think back in the home and be like, hey, remember this happened? I'd be like, damn, that did happen. I'm, and, I, and it'd be some crazy shit. Like, I should have never forgot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But but on top of that, I always felt like I, I was going to be somebody special, homie. And so I always strive for that. Mm. And that's what make me get over that shit. I'm like, okay, I'm almost, I'm, I feel like I'm, 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 I'm a month away from the big lick right. every day. Mm. And so where I'm trying to get to, is what kept me because I feel I always say I say any other nigga been through the shit I've been through, they done went and shot up everybody by now. You know what I'm saying? Killed yeah. everybody by now. Right. Mm-hmm. But man, I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's a lot. That's a lot though. Until unpack for sure. Mm -hmm. Um let's start let's break a little bridge back to your music. He's um, like, hey, he's slicking it. Let's get off this shit, man. <laughs> this shit right here is Hey, hey. wait a minute. I didn't want to go talk about no shit. <laughs> no. <Nope. That> <laughs> <laughs> we gonna go back into it. We're gonna go back into it, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? That's that's a lot, bro. I don't wanna, you know, rehash some old it's shit. My you know life, what I'm saying? It's my I ain't not, That's man. crazy, bro. I can't run from this shit. This shit on my mind every day, homie. Damn, bro. What it is. That's crazy, bro. Niggas don't know. Niggas don't know what I've been through, homie. Have you ever considered this is just a, just a question, bro. Have you ever counseling? considered counseling therapy? Because yeah. Mitchie, that's that's a, that's some that's some tragic shit, bro. You know what's crazy though? Mm. I I have went and talked okay. to therapists. Oh, cool, cool. But not about me. Mm. Like I've been in situations with motherfuckers, and we be going back and forth about shit, and then we'll go sit down, and every motherfucking thing I said, and mm. every piece of every arg, they the therapist already saying everything I say. Mm. Every two times I've been, so it it ain't. I'm not. I'm not lost. I'm not in. I'm not confused about what's going on in my head. No. I know what's going on in my head. I feel you. If I didn't, I'd be around this motherfucker crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Straight up. I feel you. No, I really. I, I got this. Yeah. I got this. I mean, you, you straight to me. You straight yeah. to me, bro, for sure. Straight up, I got this. I ain't got weak. Yeah. I ain't never questioned. I ain't never been sitting. Damn, I don't want to be here. No, I ain't never did that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I always been like, yeah, nigga, we gonna fuck him up tomorrow too, nigga. Let's go. Let's go. That's Papa Don. That's all I be on. Nigga, we finna fuck him up. You nigga, just one more week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's all um, I think, bro. I heard this. I don't know if this is a rumor or not, but I heard Mitchie Slick is a content hoarder, bro. Uh, a content hoarder? Yes, sir. I heard. Go ahead. I heard word on the street. Uh -huh. Mitchie Slick has some unreleased songs like Diana Ross. Big names in the boat. He has never released Please elaborate. Please tell me why. Not no big, big, big. Come on, man. But but no, I got shit. I got shit. Come on, Mitch. What's up, bro? You know what it is, homie? You sitting on a whole lot of heat that is just in the vault but, that you would not release. Please, but please the, tell me why. But the thing is, homie, is like with music, you got to have, music needs a certain uh, machine by it in order to get the attention that I want mm. for the music. Mm. I got songs that features with, so I got Jack of features. These legendary niggas. Mm. Chinks drugs features. Yeah. 
Daz, Cocaine. Sh- like, these are songs that need a real push behind them, a real budget in order to come out and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got you. And so that's the reason why I haven't really released a lot of shit. Because coming from where we come from, homie, it, it's... Mm, I got you. It's fucked up being from Dago, bro. You know what I'm saying? For mm. real. When it comes to... When it comes to opportunity, mm. we 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 we're good in 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 sports. If you are an athlete in San Diego, yeah, you strong as hell. You fast in the motherfucker. We know what to do with you. Mm-hmm. But like far as music, movies, all that type of shit, we don't really got that many plugs to to the main to the mainstream. And that's what it's all about. It's about relationships, homie. What? And and man, it just. It, it, if I was an LA nigga I could be like Look what I got Homie And he'd be like Oh slick We gotta put this shit out I'm, Let's go talk to whoever mm. Let's go talk to let's Go run up here To goddamn Interscope Right quick or something But it, being from San Diego We kinda like We don't have that At our disposal Right So I'm like Shit what the use Of putting this shit out for Homie if it ain't gonna Get the attention It needs to get And um Now my, I'm gonna give you Some pushback Alright Somebody of your stature Somebody who accomplished All the stuff you accomplished mm-hmm. Why do you need you know more push you i mean you you have the push already on your platform no no Mm. no everything is payola homie mm. you're saying that right right nobody that's record this big right now just got they fucking push on their platform gotcha. they got a fucking budget right you know you hear a song on the radio and it's playing from new york to california or just from texas to california that's a hundred bands you know what i mean so do you think that we need all that right now to push music? Since I mean, when you started doing the music to music, now it's completely different from from when you first started doing it. You think it's different? It's not different. All these niggas are spending money still. All of them. You don't think everything is mostly social media based? Fuck no. Mm. No, because everything on social media is payola advertisement. Got you. Shit. Gotcha. It's an algorithm. <clears throat> if you paying the money, you're going to get shot over here. It's playlist. You pay enough money. To, these songs be big. See, that's what be pissing me off. Mm. All these fans, all these dick riding that San Diego fans that dick ride everybody else from every other city because he better. No, he not better. Mm. No, he has. He's part of a movement or an algorithm or some shit like that. He's 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 on this company that has a budget. They're going to pay for him to be on the playlist. Gotcha. The big playlist. The whole game is playlist mm. and in and, and TikTok and all that shit. Right. All them TikTok videos and all that shit. Them people. Oh, it it just. Oh, so and so did a TikTok dance with whoever did that fucking dance. A motherfucker paid him to do that dance to that song. Mm. Smoking up. smoking mirrors. Straight up. Gotcha. It's the game. So I only say that to say like San Diego. Love y'all people. And, and 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 just know, just cause the nigga got a hundred million views, that don't mean that his craft is better than a nigga that got a hundred thousand views. You Let's know what go. I'm saying? Let's Straight go. up, you, 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 there's no reason to love no other city's artists more than you love your own. And I'm telling you, straight the fuck up, San Diego fans, these other niggas that you love and you like and all that shit, where they from? They don't they they don't listen to your shit. Mm. LA nigga, you're not finna go in the LA club and hear no San Diego record. Mm. You're not finna go to the Bay and hear no San Diego record come out. Mm. Why? Because them Bay niggas is in the game. They're like, no, we want our nigga to crack. We love our shit. Mm-hmm. We like our music. You're not finna go to fucking no strip club in Atlanta and hear no record from no West Coast. You might get a nigga from Detroit record, maybe. You might get a nigga from you know, Florida record, maybe, but you're going to get local records mm-hmm. in Dallas. You go to Dallas, you're going to hear 70%. You're going to hear 50% Dallas record. You go to Houston, you're going to hear 50% Houston records. You go to a club in San Diego. Everybody else's. You might not hear one San Diego record. Come on. That's a fact. And I'm going to tell you straight like this. Any DJ that DJs any, any motherfucking set in San Diego and you don't play no San Diego record all night, Three years ago, I'd have called you something else. Let's go. Right now, I'm gonna tell you, 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 you weak, homie. You wow. whack. Mm. You whack. You're a dick rider, and you, you should have some pride in your own shit. Because mm. there's no way you're gonna tell me that every other city got better records than San Diego records, especially right now. Because this nigga's dropping records right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Mitch, I'm gonna give you some pushback. All right, just, just conversation. All right. <clears throat> If the people are not supporting the music, why would they play the music in the clubs? Well, the thing is, is 
So then that's saying, so then that's so then to push back on that, yeah. that's saying that Atlanta DJs don't break records. Then Houston DJs don't break records. That's, is that what you're saying? They do, but I feel like different. I mean, I'm, this is not my. I don't. This is not my opinion. I'm just trying to give you some pushback. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Come on. So I'm just saying that. I got an answer for everything you're gonna say, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I like I said, I don't want to just reflect on me or this put this Come podcast. On. Come but on. I'm just I'm just trying to give you some pushback. You I know, got I mean, you. that's I all it is. So this how you it's how you hear what's in right. my brain. Right. I so I feel like this too as well. I feel like each city has its own different gra- demographics, and once once again, each city has. It's brand different. We can't compare each city, you know, as a whole. Mm-hmm. Like we can't compare LA to, you know, the. Uh, I know we can't. You know San why? Diego you know why the, you can't compare? Area. You know why you can't? Right. Because if you try to go in Atlanta and spin a record all night and don't play no Atlanta records, you are gonna get your ass beat. Yeah, you're right. It is different. Right. Yeah. Go to LA right now tonight, nigga. I be in San Diego, nigga. I be in the club and the motherfucking DJ don't play my record. Damn. Damn. I've been in San Diego and it's five different DJs spinning records that's spinning in San Diego every night. And then out of town, this DJ that's just featuring come and spin, and spin my record. God. Yeah, that's a problem. But I don't, I don't be tripping on that shit. Shout out to my DJs. I love all y'all, homie. It's mm. all good. It's all good. But just know this. You're not... You're not you're not bracking, homie. If you if in, in you're never gonna be bracking, homie. If you if you're not breaking records and making the artists in your city bubble, cause that's how the DJs is gonna get money when the artist is, is bubbling. Now, to go along with your shit, if the niggas ain't supporting the re- no, it's everybody's fault. You see, I got on the fans first before I even got on the DJs. Mm. That's the whole culture. Right. Quit dick riding everybody else. Love your own shit. Love your own shit. All the niggas that y'all be jocking, all the niggas that y'all be loving and all that shit, they kind of day going to be like, Slick, legend, you the nigga. I start rapping because f- of you. And then I get around San Diego niggas, and then the little niggas in San Diego, nigg- the little artists in San Diego, they won't want to fuck with Slick all the way. Mm. It'll be all the little niggas, and then it'll be an out-of-town rapper that come in San Diego, and then they'll be the one that bring me out. Mm. It'll be a nigga I fuck with, know, and all that shit. Nigga don't like nothing, don't share nothing, nothing. And then the same nigga that they sharing and liking, they be sharing and liking my shit. Now, I, I let me take me out the equation. Mm-hmm. Even the young homies, y'all, the young niggas shit, fuck with they go shit, and and they are starting to do that. <clears throat> I will give it up. Right. It's some little niggas right now that have that have followings, and you see it, house party little pop-ups and shit like that you see the little niggas loving the records and right. i'm loving that right but i'm not speaking for just right now i'm just speaking the history of san diego hip-hop mm. you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. this is what it is i ain't trying to make no enemies i ain't trying to bust nobody out but look y'all we'll have way more money way more fun in san diego if niggas start loving their own shit yeah like why y'all don't want to have no nigga why y'all don't want no millionaires driving around this motherfucker looking like all the niggas that y'all Love so much that blow the fuck up. San Diego would do this. It'd be rappers. I ain't gonna say no names. It'd be rappers that's underground California rappers. Mm-hmm. Them niggas would be doing shows down here every other weekend mm. until they blow all the way up. Yeah. Every other weekend. If a nigga doing a show in your city every other weekend, what does that say? Qu- quiz question. <laughs> what does that say? I mean, it's a market. No, that says that this nigga ain't doing shows nowhere else. Mm. He doing shows in your town. Mm. He here on Christmas. He here on New Year's. He here on... Why, that means y'all just love this nigga. Mm. Y'all, now he started off making 25. Now he making 5,000. Now he making 10,000 a show. Now he got cars and ice. Now he looking like the big dog and all that. Y'all done made him that. Mm. Make your own niggas that. I ain't gonna say no names, but y'all know the niggas that was doing shows down here every week. Now they big and blew up. Them niggas be down here every two years now because y'all done blew them up. I love them. It's all good. No disrespect to none of the niggas that use my city as a platform. But much disrespect to all the niggas from my city that dick ride niggas that come from out of town. Give them all the weed. Give them all our bitches. Let them do whatever. Let them slide in town. They don't got to do no verses. They don't got to do. Nigga, let a nigga come through L.A. 
hang out. The sixty niggas is with them. The mm-hmm. the the Crenshaw, the whoever the fuck is with these niggas. They riding around with him. Before that nigga leave town, he done dropped a verse. He done did a video. He done did everything he had to do to make sure he run through that motherfucker. San Diego quit giving up our city for free. Interesting. Yes, church. Interesting. Now, once again, this conversation. Okay. Just try, this, this podcast, do you think it's our our fault for not teaching the youth? Would you would you take any accountability for not teaching the youth or the younger generation the structure of uh, you know how to operate and move? No, I've, I've been giving it to them. Mm. I've been having this conversation right here for fifteen years. Gotcha. No, 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 no. You, you niggas shouldn't have to teach you to not be no dick rider. <laughs> <laughs> niggas shouldn't have to teach you to not treat a nigga like he's special. This nigga was just on the corner, dusty, busted. Six months ago, mm. he just like you. Yeah. Why are y'all acting like he's somebody? He's just a nigga. Yeah. I'm not saying fuck the niggas from out of town. No, fuck when I'm out of town. Right. But if you go to Detroit, you're not finna go through Detroit and do whatever you want to do and do no show and Absolutely eat at not. this place and this. And then don't you made 50 band, you made 20 bands in the city and bounce. And did no niggas from the city make no money while you was here? Absolutely not. That's not gonna happen. Nope. That's not gonna happen. I agree. Straight the fuck up. Atlanta, yep. DC, Chicago, Florida, Houston. Come on, homie. Yeah. The Bay. You're not finna just come through. Look, look, look. You see all these rappers that y'all fuck with, mm-hmm. but then do y'all see how much they be in the streets and fucking with niggas when they go to the other cities? They have to. Yeah. Bay Area, they, you're forced to do that. They have to. Yeah. In San Diego, they need to have to, too. Because mm. they come to Dago. I'm not saying press the line. I'm not, no. Quit acting like a dick rider, and then they'll, get, they'll look out. Yeah. They, you niggas just giving them everything. Yeah, I know a bunch of cities that feel the same way I feel. They might not know how to break it down like this, but it be the cities that ain't all the way on. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They don't understand it. But this is why we ain't all the way on. What are your thoughts on the San Diego music scene, the current scene right now? How do you feel like the how we're doing in the music? Hmm. I think we're doing a lot better than we have ever done. Mm. Interesting. I think we're doing a lot better than we've ever done. I think that um, this is finally a time where the music that's trending and that's popping, we're making music just as high caliber as 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 the young cats are. Facts. You know what I'm saying? As as high caliber as every you know all the rest of the rest of the rest of the rest of the cities and shit. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I do. I feel that. Now, um, now the business of it, I don't know if we got the business part all the way down, right? You right. Know what I mean? Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, setting up for bigger moves. Doing business with San Diego people. Because yeah. cause a little nigga in San Diego, <clears throat> you can come to a little nigga in San Diego and say, what's up, we can do this, we can do that, and this, that, and that. And he ain't want to fuck with you. And a nigga from L.A. can come do the same shit. And then they'll fuck around and go roll with them. Right. I didn't had to do it before. I tried to fuck with a little homie. I had to go get my LA nigga. Check it out, homie. Come down. Right. And then they come down the same thing. I'm trying to get the nigga to do. They get it to do. I just had to be a silent partner in the situation and shit like that. And I'm not doing it because I need no little niggas to make no money off of. I do it because I want my city to shine. Yeah. I want my niggas to pop. You know what I'm saying? 100. percent I really do. I really do. I didn't. I didn't took niggas and sat them down and had meetings and. With Def Jams and Interscopes and shout out to all my little niggas. Niggas know, but that's not me trying to get over. I haven't made a dime off none of you niggas. Mm. I ain't made no money off nobody mm. in San Diego. I ain't made a dime. I want to. Why shouldn't I want to? You, sh- you deserve it. I'm a nigga. Why, why y'all won't let me be an executive? Right. But y'all will go let my homeboy be the executive. And this nigga only know what he know because of me. Mm. Like it's that's what we got fucked up in San Diego. I feel like, do you feel like you don't get the the respect that you deserve? You know, in San Diego, for as as what? You know, out your accomplishments and things like that. Let me go a little deeper. So, I do hear like people saying like, "Hey, Mitch, 
don't put you know he don't put on Senegal artists and, and things of that nature how do you feel about when people say that about you I feel they stupid as fuck mm. cause I ain't even all the way on like that how the fuck I'm gonna put you on nigga I ain't Puff Daddy nigga I mean you Puff Daddy in San Diego nigga I'm not Puff Daddy in San Diego <laughs> Puff Daddy in San Diego means I can walk into a label and say hey I need a $250,000 budget for this artist I can't do that Mitch I think I think that the problem is with you bro I don't think you know how much you mean to the San Diego but I think you're I don't think you know your magnitude of you know of who you are no I know the realities of the industry and what really matters mm. I know what really matters what matters is checks I heard that don't bro. none of that other shit matter none of that other shit matters homie I heard that oh we're doing great we're great in San Diego every time I hear that shit oh we got artists we got oh we do we ready we ready to be on mm -hmm. okay let's go game ball jump ball Let's go. Five five against four. Okay, we got to play against L.A. today. Right. Who going to stick Kendrick? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> I mean, well, like, let's, let's be fair. Any too many motherfuckers going to stick Kendrick who gonna stick, anywhere. Who going to stick Draco? I feel you. Okay. Even on some underground shit. Okay. Uh, we, got some, we got some hitters, bro. Who's going to stick Draco? We're not talking about talent. We're right. talking about influence in right now. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Who gonna stick? Fuck it. Let's just. Who gonna stick Blueface in that lane? Who gonna stick Blueface? I feel you. I mean, who? Put put them on them. Who? Nigga talk about bitches and all this. Who? Put them. Well, Not Mitch. talent. Who? Who gonna stick the game? I mean, that's our problem. That's our problem. Who we have stick, the talent. Who gonna though. stick Schoolboy? Okay, let's go to the A. I get I get you, but we have the talent, but we just don't have the platform to to push our uh you know voices out there to the masses. I don't care. Who, okay, what, what, what city next? Detroit. <laughs> okay, who who gonna stick Sada Baby? Who who we gonna put on Sada Baby? Yeah, so yeah, you're right, bro. I I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you. One hundred percent. I mean, we could go city to city. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you gotta be real about what's going on. The numbers. You know what I'm saying? We could just go to the Bay. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even on, it, we can even go with the G's. Right. It's like who gonna you know like who gonna stick Snoop? Who gonna stick Drake? We we not we. We okay. can play like we are, homie, but we got work to do, and it's mostly coming from business. So what's the solution? What's your solution? So we we, we, we cover the problems. So what's, what do you think the solution is to? Have pride in our own shit because we do have the talent. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who's going to stick Kendrick still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bitch, let's be, let's be real. Ain't to me, motherfuckers, period. Anywhere gonna go stick Kendrick. Yeah, but I can find somebody in, in Detroit that could. I could, yeah. I could put Eminem on Kendrick. I could put Lil Wayne on Kendrick in Louisiana. Ugh. What? Ugh. What? Yeah, Lil Wayne. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. I what agree. you mean? I agree. You gotta agree. agree with everything that come out of my mouth. My shit facts. You're right. My you, shit you, study. You, you getting it? You yeah. getting it? I'm, try, I'm trying right, to get you some pushback. Fuck it even right now. <laughs> okay, who gonna stick LaRusso even right now? Ah, oh, man. And that I you mean, should be able to do, you should be, who? Just name him. Hey, but look, uh, that's that's more marketing. He's just a hustling. That nigga rapping, bro. You just uh, this pure talent? I'm talking about if this you are talent. a label, if you are a, a label executive, mm -hmm. And you like, okay, I have a team and we're yeah. playing against that team. Yeah. Who are you gonna put to stick La Russell? We're we're definitely lacking in the numbers, but talent wise, I think I can argue with you. It's it all that don't even talent don't even matter no more, homie. I, I agree with you. So we ain't even that don't even matter. I agree with I you. I said executive. You think executive <laughs> give a fuck about some talent? Nigga, <laughs> he give a fuck about who's gonna make me the most money. That's fact. Who's gonna have the most people come to this show tonight? Put asses in seats. Generate uh, Straight transactions. Up, homie. This is no disrespect to my San Diego artists. Right. All I'm saying is we let's not act like we already that. Let's no. keep smashing. That's the only way we're gonna get there. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So we're lacking from the business aspect of it. We're lacking. And we're know, lacking the from the flyness, homie. And right. the flyness and the and we're the shit. Mm. Like as soon as niggas start saying San Diego, we're the shit. Okay. As soon as that happens, instead mm. of saying yeah, we the shit. Oh, here come what's call Let me get out the way. For, oh, can I go to the show tonight and be by him? Or uh, I'm uh, uh, he let me stand on stage by him. Fuck that, nigga. Did mm. he do the verse, though, before we left, though? Let's go. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. Contribute something to the city. Come on, homie. The way they do in every other city they got to go to. Right. Soon as niggas get that and understand that I'm not just some 
on some bullshit. This is why I act how I act. Because I understand this shit. Right. I didn't learn my rap shit in San Diego. I learned my rap shit in LA in the fast lane. Mm. Sir Jinx, salute. That's who put me on. Same nigga that started with Dr. Dre and all them niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's I learned the game from there. From the niggas that made Ice Cube. That's who I learned the game from. Right. I know the real shit. Talent, that's cool. I'm not talking about talent. I'm talking about seats. Filling up them seats. Little weirdos popping. KT's popping. Yeah. Um, who else popping? I see a lot of Lil Ma. I watch everybody. Lil Maru. Lil Maru numbers. Yeah. yeah. Lil Maru. Lil Maru. Daddy like my motherfucking uncle and shit. Damn, it's crazy. Yeah, that Lil Maru. Daddy walk in my house and don't knock on the door. Damn. In my 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 grandma's house. You feel me? That's crazy. Straight up. So I'm I'm, I'm it's not like these ain't the peoples. You know what mm. I'm saying? I'm just saying let's not act like we something that we not, and that's sometimes the problem. Niggas be out here acting like. No, we got work to do, man. We got work to do. So, let's since we're on this topic right here, um, why do you why do you think that San Diego rappers don't get the respect outside the city? You know, when other people like you, we mentioned this already, like on I No Jumper. I told you why. So No Jumper. So people, other people, other rappers don't respect. If they if if the same shit happened when niggas came to San Diego, that this did happen everywhere else. Now don't get it fucked up. Like niggas ain't got they. Fucked up in San Diego. We ain't just talking about that. We talking about business. When you come, don't just rapper. Where's the business niggas that's talking to their business niggas? But Mitch, I'm talking about Go like ahead. you know. I'm talking about like you know. You kind of addressed it before, but you know, like on, on No Jumper, when they when they mention San Diego people, they start laughing and shit. So so basically, it's California. Just like if it's Texas or Arkansas or whatever. Yeah. Whatever city you from. When it's time to go to jail, everybody go to the same jail, homie. Gotcha. Ain't no niggas in jail laughing about San Diego niggas. That's just people on the streets right. that don't leave where they from. Right. Like, 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 like they was. I heard um, somebody on No Jumper. He made the comment. I love L.A., homie. I fucking. I'm damn near L.A. nigga. As far as all niggas, I be fucking with and shit like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Bay nigga too. I'm all California, but I'm Dago. But uh. It was like ah, we think of, we think of, Sea World and, and the beach and yeah. I was like nigga, we think of Magic Mountain and motherfucking <laughs> and goddamn, uh, uh, Universal Studios, Disney Farm, Disneyland, Disneyland <laughs> uh, Wax Museum, <laughs> Hollywood Stars, <laughs> like, come on, I feel you. It's it's just because, San Diego City is built around something else mm -hmm. the powers that be get money doing something else in san diego yeah the powers that be in la get money off the same shit we get off but then they get money off movies mm -hmm. they get money off rap they get money off all kind of hood shit mm -hmm. san diego don't give a fuck about making no money off hood shit mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh check just think about this shit like this we was gonna shoot um whack 100 wanted to shoot my flag video with game me, Joe Moses, all the homies, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, uh, RJ, uh, AD, they wanted to shoot the video in San Diego. Nigga, we had to go through, they were talking about it was gonna take a month to get the permit to maybe do the shit. LA, next day. Done. Done, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand the industry shit in San Diego. So, all the videos you've seen on TV, out of all the hit records you ever seen, all mm -hmm. the hit video, all the big, just think, just imagine this. You never seen a hit video with the show San Diego. Think of that. That's fast. As beautiful bro. as our city is, when have you ever seen a video of a hit record and you saw San Diego? You're fact. That's you speaking facts. That's the type of shit that stunts San Diego. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We we don't we don't understand. We ain't we we haven't got to taste it, bro. Yeah. When you taste it, you think differently of this shit. We evolving though. It's evolving. We're evolving. It's evolving. For young, sure. like I said, young niggas today, mm -hmm. they're making more money off rap in San Diego than niggas that started when I started ever did, homie. Mm. Salute to my young. It, you go to a show now. These young niggas is popping in San Diego. It'd be a whole audience. All the, everybody you name, I name, motherfucker audience singing every word. That wasn't really like that. You know what I'm saying? Like '80s and '90s and shit like that. Right. Wasn't really like that. You know what I'm saying? The music is more accessible now. And that's a lot of shit I be wanting the young homies to understand. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old nigga, but I understand. Right. But they gotta understand. Y'all think y'all the shit, 
Y'all think the old niggas ain't the shit? Nigga, all you gotta do, these young rappers today, every song they ever put out, they've gotten paid for. Mm -hmm. They've made money. The first song, any rapper you name, he's making money off of that song today. Right. Digital, streaming. Nigga, mm -hmm. you know how much money I have if every time, every time somebody hears their song right now, they get paid. Let's go. Nigga, we sell one CD. That motherfucker <laughs> might have played, one CD might have had a million views. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a million streams. Right, right. We, we, we didn't make that money. Niggas was playing CDs. Niggas burn it and burn it and burn it and burn it. Now, shit, every time a nigga stream a song, he, he get paid. It's crazy. You right? You feel me? It's it's very different. You have to burn the CDs and go out and hustle it and, and out the trunk, pass it out, all that, put it in stores. Come on, man. Yeah. Now, okay. next question, bro, for you. Mm -hmm. A lot of people want to see the OGs in San Diego come together and uh, unify and do like a song or an album together. And I tried to put on hella niggas from San Diego. Yeah, Hell right. No, you just said niggas. When you hear this, and when you hear niggas say, <laughs> "Mitch, don't do this," nigga, I done took nigga. I don't. There's not a nigga in San Diego that got more songs with niggas in San Diego than me. You do. You right. I got a song with damn near every little nigga. Any nigga that got at me. Yeah. I got a song with all of a lot of little niggas. I tried mm -hmm. to fuck with niggas. I tried to go do shit. I tried to help niggas. Shout out to my little nigga Rob Stone. Mm -hmm. Me and Rob Stone done sat in some executive meetings, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Uh Bad Damon, me and Bad Damon set up in executive meetings. KT, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even even weirdo, you know what yeah. I'm saying? We we didn't we didn't I didn't try to do shit. I, I I'm not talking about to them, but to everybody else, they might not know that. But mm -hmm. I really try to put on for the little homies. If the numbers is right, niggas gonna call me. All the executives gonna call me. Right. When a nigga get popping, the executives gonna call me. That's why I asked you. You know, what I mean, I see. I, me personally, like I said, this is not none of my views. I'm just asking the questions. I don't want you to think that this is coming from me. Of course not. No, okay. I I just, <laughs> no, I love the questions you're asking. No, I want you to ask yeah. every question you asking. So I ain't tripping. Okay? So I do. Like I said, I, I follow you. I'm a fan. I'm 100 percent right. a fan Much of. Love, I, I'm a fan of uh, Mitchie Slick. You Much know what I'm saying? Homie. I've been bump, bumping your shit for a long time. Much love. Homie. So I see a lot of stuff that you do that a lot of people don't do mm. and that's why I asked you that question you do a lot of stuff for the community I see it but you know I feel like you don't feel that you get the respect that you deserve you know but it's, I call it the San Diego syndrome mm. it's not me it's San Diego don't believe in San Diego mm. they don't right man when I first started getting in the game and started traveling and going to places and shit when I would tell other niggas that rap that I'm from San Diego, them niggas' eyes would light up, homie. Like yes, Christmas or something. <laughs> oh, San Diego. Mm -hmm. Y'all bitches. Oh, I love y'all bitches down there. <laughs> like, damn, why why they don't act like that for us? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like San Diego a role with other cities. And I know we're not the only city like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It, all these cities that don't have major artists in their city like that, they be like that. You know what I'm saying? If you, grew up, if you grew up in LA, you went to school with a nigga that, yeah. you know, won a Grammy before us. And, oh yeah, it ain't shit. Yeah. But in San Diego, it ain't really like that. We haven't had nobody. We don't. We still haven't have a had a rap superstar yet in San Diego. <sighs> Mitch, come on, bro. Why you say shit like that, man? Who? Mitchy Slick. Nah, man. Stop nah, it, nah. my guy. You come ain't on. never turned on no goddamn BET awards and seen Mitchy Slick, homie. Bro, Mitchie Slick is fucking in every in every city, my guy. Everybody, when you mention San Diego, it's Mitchie Slick, bro. You haven't seen me. Am I fucking lying? That don't mean you know Superstore. Mitch, you got a you got a fucking song with Lil Wayne. So quiet, do, so, quiet. No, so do seven hundred other niggas. I don't give a shit, bro. Man, all never, all niggas, never dudes don't listen, have a song with Lil Wayne, listen, bro. It's niggas. You, got, that, you oh. got you got songs with the game. You bro, got songs with all the major it's artists, niggas bro. With songs with Lil Wayne, you don't even know their name, bro. You part because they pay for it. Okay, I didn't pay for it. Exactly. But what I'm saying to you is, and Lil I, Wayne's not gonna do a song with anybody just for no fucking reason. Okay, check this out. So then, so then, check this out. So right, so so you think that um. If you talk to um, so right now, if you talk to a major record executive, like if you call, talk to P from QC, or you talk to Wack One Hundred, or you talk to Baby, do you think that they would consider this superstardom? Are you are you saying you? Yeah. If you when you start putting out music, for sure. Look at he look at that extra shit. You 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 don't put no music out, Mitch. Bro, bro, 
superstar, it's niggas that been rapping for three months. They got a hundred million views on their songs, bro. But Mitch, there's always levels to everything, my guy. I know that's star status. That's superstar. That means when you go out of town, everybody I'm talking about, they can't go no. When they go out of town. They, 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 they can't walk through the mall. They walk through the mall, it's 100 people follow them. That's superstars. Yeah, superstars, but there's not superstars in every city. No, it's superstars in every major city. You're right. Come on, let's, I love this. Let's keep, <laughs> let's keep doing this shit. I need niggas like you so I can tell them. No, nigga, fuck that. San Diego niggas, quit thinking Mitchie Slick is a superstar. I am not nobody to be jealous off Stop, of. bro. You tripping, man. Nigga, it's little niggas in San Diego that's doing dumber numbers than me right now. Yeah, probably now because we Maybe haven't not put on the music street. out. He said never put no music out. <laughs> you don't put no fucking music out, man. No, I put music out. You just started to put music out. But I, I really, I've been, I've been, I've been, I, st I stay featured up though. I Mitch, stay, I'm a feature nigga. Be, be real though. When what you up? when you think of San Diego, what do, who do you who do people know in San Diego when it comes to music? I don't know, but Stop, whoever man. he look no, at no, this no, no, look no, at no, him. No, I hear you, but look what at I, him. But what I'm saying Humbleness. is, but what I'm saying is, is superstardom, nigga. Do you know how much money money bag yo get for a show, my nigga? Make, Mitch, I want to hear that shit. Let me tell you something. Let, no, me, no, let me tell you something. No, let me tell people. No, hold on. Let me. Do you let me know tell how you much this. money bag yo get paid for a show? You're probably right. It's it's about transactions, Mitch. You just did the Kelly Fest. Two years ago, that nigga was who's getting. On, who's on Kelly? Who's who just did a Kelly Fest concert? Okay, listen. To answer that question, huh. Mitch, who did the Kelly first concert right now, like two days ago? I was the only nigga on the bill that never went platinum. Yes, that was dope. Mitch, see, you be saying the shit, man. No, it, it, nah, no, bro. I know that I, I know. Listen, I know that we are on our way to be that, but I don't want niggas to be. You don't want to be envious of me, nigga. You want to be envious of Fifty Cent, nigga. Mitch, you just did the Cali Fresh. That's a legend you had. I ain't you gonna had, lie, that shit you, was bracket. Come on, that shit bro. Was up. <laughs> come on, this motherfucker hey, over here. Hey. Just, come on, hey, my that guy. Shit. Hey, that was the, that was. I the seen this shit. Hey, shout Mac, out to my big brother Mac Ten. Mac homie. Ten, Chicken was, Hawk, nigga. That was the coldest shit, nigga. That was a nigga. Let me tell you, them steaks backstage was so buttery, homie. You ever had a butter steak, man? A butter <laughs> ribeye steak. Pop it down, tell him, homie. Them steaks was buttery, man. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, look. I'm telling you, that nigga Mac had that shit. That shit was dope. And, and listen, I'm not going to knock that. Come on, no, bro. We, you you got to start getting yourself some credit, bro. No, Real shit. I, I do get myself Real shit. credit. No, you don't. Yes, no, you I don't. do. No, you don't, bro. But I keep it funky, though. I keep it funky, though, about what's really, really, really real. Let, yeah. me, let, me, tell, let me tell you who's seen, who, let me tell you who seen a piece of this stardom before. You brought J.O. on? Yes. That nigga had a hit record. 100%. That is a major hit record that nigga had. You have to as well, bro. Nigga, I have not had no record big as oh what you going to do. Yeah, bro, Mitch, you, you looking at every like superstar, you, you're comparing people to Kendrick Lamar, bro. Go. That's what I'm how on. Many, how many people who's, who's you can compare to Kendrick Lamar, bro? Me, nigga. There's like a handful of people. Yeah, that you me. Can... I don't feel like we know <laughs> less than that. I'm like, no, I don't give us no passes, nigga. We supposed to be <laughs> on the Grammys and all that shit just like them niggas. Facts. No, that's what I'm shooting for. I'm not shooting for no, no, nigga. I'm shooting for some, nigga, nigga, uh, nigga. When we shot that video with Lil Wayne, that nigga pulled up in a motherfucking, a motherfucking <laughs> tour bus and a Phantom following that motherfucker, homie. That's how he pulling up. Let's you. go to McDonald's. Phantom tour bus roll it to McDonald's. That's a superstar. I feel you. I feel you. No, no, we not there. I feel. That's you. why I say I don't knock my little niggas. No, I'm saying we not there. Yeah. We can get there. We we got to quit thinking that we there. I we not you. there. I feel you. We're there, nigga. I'm going to tell you when you there. Go to Atlanta. I'm from I'm from Georgia. Okay. Nigga, a little bitch can really get her shit together. Nigga, she go to the club looking right, nigga. It's a plenty millionaire niggas to choose from in the club, driving down the street every day. That's what I want for my little homegirls in Dago. I want my little homegirls to be able to fuck with a homie from the hood that's a millionaire. That superstar, I want that. Little baby, you. who gonna <clears throat> stick, little baby? I feel you. I feel you. So you're saying that you just, hey, you want to be at the top of the top, the top you're, of the top. Yes. That's what they want. Yes. That's what they're after. You setting your goals high. What? Let's go, nigga. Why we can't? I heard that, bro. Why we can't? We the best niggas in the country. Let's go, nigga. T. Davis, Marcus Allen, Reggie Bush, Ricky Williams. No. You gonna say you gonna you gonna so you gonna say my rap status is Reggie Bush's equal to Reggie Bush's football status? Yes. I, I need. I love this nigga right here. <laughs> yes. I love this nigga right here. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's right, my nigga. <laughs> 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 man, I've seen Mitch Slick do some shit, bro. I've been like I say, man. 
I don't, hey, give, it, fuck, I don't the, give a fuck motherfucker call me fanboy and shit, but I know Mitchy Slick, man. Nah, I been calling all your shit. They fans. I don't I give a fuck, fans. bro. F A M. Fams. You did, I love my niggas that fuck with me. You done, you done some shit, bro. That's I, right, homie. For a long ass motherfucking time, bro. That's right, homie. I had a 98 Ford Mustang bumping your shit, bro. Right. I, I got memories. Right, right. Nice memories. Bitches in the car, me going downtown bumping Mitchy, Mitchy Slick, homie. Come on, bro. Hey, my movement Let's is go. bigger today, 20 years later, than it ever was my whole shit. For sure. Right now. You're, you're evolving. Right now. You're evolving. Straight so, up. So once, since we're on that, let's talk about this new music. You got some new music coming out. Yes, sir. Everybody hates Mitch. That's yes, your new sir. album's pop, popping. Yes, sir. That shit um, is, it got a lot of it got a lot a lot a lot of intricate pieces to that situation. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about this this new album that you're gonna be dropping. Um, I got a couple projects I'm dropping, man. Right now, shout out to my brother Pooh, man, mm-hmm. from the trap, homie. Okay. Um, we collabed up, homie. We got a fucking record out right now called Heyday, man. And um, that motherfucker cold. That's 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 the epitome of what I'm doing right now. Mm-hmm. All my music is lessons right now. Yeah. But it's still fun, though. It's still gangster. It's still fun. But um, that 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 record is on a, a record I got called Selected Politicking. That's a straight street record. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Street album. And um, an album called Selected Politicking. Okay. That'll be out. I got a few features on there. I got the homie Two Eleven on there. My nigga from Inglewood, shout out to my nigga 211. Um, I got the homie K Biz on there, Ice B. That's the homies, you know what I'm saying? Homie record, you know what I'm saying? 100%. Then my nigga Juice just came home, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Me and Juice ain't even titled our album. Shout out to my fr- fr- Frisco legend, man. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, man, we got an album right now, man. That motherfucker slapping, homie, and it's produced entirely by June on the Beach, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's a, that's a, um, it's all bangers on that thing. We recorded that shit in uh, Minnesota. I went out there and rocked, did a show out there with some of the homies out there and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to my nigga B-Loke, man, from Minnesota and shit. You know what I'm saying? Minneapolis. Well, actually, let me, let me not say that. Them niggas is from Minnesota, but they from a city close to, um, close to um, Minneapolis. Let me not do that to my nigga. To my mm-hmm. Minnesota niggas, <clears throat> straight up. And then, um, then I got an album I'm working on right now with DJ Muggs. I mean, me and DJ Muggs is making songs right now. We don't know if we're gonna make it Urban Survival too. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying I'm all in. I'm rapping, man, right now. I'm doing more than 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 I ever did. I'm in the studio more right now than I ever been my whole run. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nigga was thugging most of the whole run before. Right now, nigga ain't nigga ain't nigga ain't no I ain't out in the streets fucking around. Mm-hmm. I'm out in the streets, but I ain't out in the streets occupied doing the shit I was doing when I made these first albums. Right now, I got time to go in the lab and, and work. Right. And then the record I've been working on for the last couple of years that we releasing now, you seen the single um, Dago Nights. Dago Nights. I love that motherfucker. That Dago is. Nights is the second single off that album. The first single is In My Elko. Mm. And um, that album right there is called Everybody Hates Mitch. It's entirely produced by the homeboy Sir Vettadano. Let's go. This motherfucker cold, man. It's my homeboy. Shout out to Sir Vettadano, man. It's one of the coldest producers on the whole West Coast, man. He produced the whole album. And it's straight up 80s inspired, homie. Like all them great, all them Shalimar, Cameo, uh, 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 switch, uh, all that shit. Zap, Roger, all that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The, that's the energy on this, on this on this project right here. Mm-hmm. I got hella projects coming. I probably got about three more. I ain't even said, homie. But right now they finna get it. It's about singles right now, so we yeah. just dropping shit, dropping videos. You know what I mean? Content hoarder, straight up. Content hoarder. <laughs> well, not no more. I feel you. I'm dropping. I'm, I'm proud of you, man. Thank you, bro. I'm proud of you. Um, that's crazy. You saw. I do like that Dago Nights though. That that's shit's cool. cool. That's, that's for cool. us. I mean, that's a dago. That's yeah. straight up. If if you if you ever um if you want to show if you want if somebody from out of town asks you why dago is doper than they city, you just show them dago nice video. You yeah. know what I mean? That motherfucker clean, bro. That's right, homie. In that red Corvette hey, cruising. Listen, and shout out to my nigga Yellow Negro, homie. He's yeah. the coldest nigga out here, homie. Coldest, he cold. coldest video nigga out here, man. Shout out to my nigga, man. That's the big dog. It's a lot of little cold. Directors out here right now, no doubt. Mm-hmm. But the big dog of them, and it really, it really put the, uh, the, the brought the visuals from San Diego to life first. Yeah, is gonna have to be yellow, yellow Negro man. That's right. my bro. He, 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 he know how to bring my shit out, man. Straight you OG, out. OG in it too. He ain't yeah. that old, but but for it's like in a video game, directing yeah, OG. game. OG, yeah, OG, yeah, OG. for sure, one hundred percent. So, what inspires you to keep doing music, bro? You know what I mean? With all your accomplishments and everything you have done, what what inspires you to keep on pushing and making these uh, dope tracks? The real reason I can't tell you, mm. I can't tell you till, till I go diamond. Okay. When I go diamond, I'm gonna tell you. Go but, diamond. But the other reason is because um. The other reason is because um. I know I still, I, I still get a joy. 
out of out of seeing niggas gig to my shit. I love it. And I know I still got shit. Mm. I don't rap like no nigga that been in this long. I still rap for like rap rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Still being innovative, still finding new styles and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And I and I like doing it. You know what I'm saying? I got it's the competitive nature in me, you know what I'm saying? It makes me want to I hear a dope nigga bring a record out from, you know, from the south or something like that or whatever, and I see his people moving to their record. Shit, I I want I want to match that. I want to do that. But Man. the but the biggest reason I can't tell you now. I tell you in probably about a year. I heard that, bro. About 2 years I tell you. Man, keep killing it, bro. Keep killing it. Mitch, a couple more questions, bro. Um I want to see uh, a collaboration with all the Senegal OGs, bro. All of them, the big dogs, the Don, Damus, the Mitchie Slicks, the little uh, Big June. Me and Damu just wet their ass up with the 23 Blocks album. I don't know I've if y'all that. missed that, but if you a real G, and I would like to say that real, real, uncut, authentic Gs, they're a minority across the country. So that that record might album might not be that popular because right. you got to be entrenched in the shit to really get the topics and the shit we talking about. Mm-hmm. But if you are that, if you a real Southern California G, God, man, God damn, that fucking 23 blocks go crazy. Yeah, homie. It's and crazy. the single off of that was um, Elevate. Shout out to my brother, man. We just lost a real, real Damu legend, homie, mm. last week, homie. My brother from Inglewood, man. This was my nigga, Big Y, from the relatives. Shout out to my nigga, Sugar Booger, man. Mm. You know, it, it, it's fucked up that he passed, but he was a real intricate, I mean, he was a real influential part of this cloth that we have nationwide when it comes to this shit, our side of the, of the, of the spectrum. Right. And, and man, my nigga passed away. He took a lot of knowledge, a lot of game with him, homie. And I just want to send love to his family and all the Crenshaw Mafias. You know what I'm saying? Because they nigga, boy, they lost an important piece of their puzzle up there, man. But but they got slick, though, right here with them, though. Man, sorry to hear that, brother. Yeah. Sorry. Man, let's do one more little couple more questions, bro. I got, this is part of the interview I'll call the hot seat, bro. Okay. So I'm going to ask you some questions about, you know, nothing related to music. Mitchy Slick. Does a woman body count matter? What? <laughs> oh, yeah, I like this interview. I want to talk about this shit more than I talk about any shit you talk about tonight. Does a woman's body count matter? Yes. Fuck <laughs> yeah, woman's body count matter. Why does a woman's body count matter to you? Because, man, you got to understand, man. A woman, homie... Your woman or the woman that's with you, mm-hmm. first off, it's about respect. You know what I'm saying? Facts. A man got to be respected. That's all a man care about is respected. Ain't no way a nigga can, you, it's no way you can get respect when you walk in the room and it's about three, four niggas that done hit the bitch that you walked in the room with, homie. <laughs> it's no, I don't give a fuck what you got, how clean your car. It could be five bum ass niggas over there. You can pull up in a Fannie Mae, you know what I'm saying? I style, stupid, all tomorrow, all the shit. No matter how good this bitch is looking. It could be three bum ass niggas at the bar drinking out of glass with straws, nigga. Mm. And they see you walk in with that bitch, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, homie. <laughs> and to all you dumb ass bitches that try to argue this shit and try to act like it's the same as niggas, no, the fuck it ain't, you stupid hoe. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why it ain't. Straight like this. Straight the fuck like this. So it doesn't matter. Men and women are, are the same. If a man, if a man can do a woman, okay, bitch, well, tell me this then. Tell me this then. Would you rather hear, you dumb bitch, would you rather hear <laughs> that your daddy fucked all the cheerleaders or that your mama fucked all the football players <laughs> in high school? Oh, man. If any any woman that says that she don't, it wouldn't make a difference, you a fucking lie. Number two, you ready for this one? I, I'm all ears. Here, here go the other one. You catch your five-year-old son humping and fucking on the side of the house and you catch your five-year-old daughter humping on the side of the fucking house. Mm-hmm. You're going to whoop your son ass. You're going to send your daughter to counseling, nigga. <laughs> like, I don't know, we got to fix this shit. It's not the same. Quit tricking yourself. You you, you dumb bitches. Oh, Cut man. it out. Cut it out. This is going to go crazy. It's oh. not the same. Oh. It's not the same. No. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. You got to have respect for that thing, mama. Straight I the fuck that. up. And, ju- and just on some, and on some, um, and on some, um, you know, some <laughs> s- studies. Yeah. There's a mechanism inside of men, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, when they say sprung? Yeah. There was a study done, homie. I think the biggest study on humans, relations, and interactions, and sex, and shit. And they did a bunch of studies and shit, right? Mm-hmm. 
I think it was at the University of, I forgot what it was. It might have been Washington. Look, I forgot where it was at, homie. Mm -hmm. They did a study of 5,000 people they studied, men and women and shit. And they, it's a lot of dope shit that I learned in this shit. Mm -hmm. Helped me figure out women and all that shit, right? But there's something inside of women that releases this shit, right? To where, like, even when the skin touch, it's mechanisms in a woman that that make you attract and that that mechanism inside of women that shoots out those chemicals mm -hmm. and men is smaller endorphins i'm not gonna say it's endorphins yeah i don't know what the word was because yeah, i yeah. know what the fucking endorphins is it's yeah. some other shit the me the organism inside of women mm -hmm. that release this shit yeah it's bigger in women than it is in men right right yep. you know what i'm saying yep 100%. oh it's the same cut it out man <laughs> the male lion yeah he get the fuck every bitch in the whole pride. <laughs> the strongest man get the fuck every, the strongest male line get the fuck every bitch in the whole pride. Yeah. Guess what the females ain't doing? They ain't doing nothing. They ain't fighting. Mm -mm. They ain't fighting. Mm. Nigga, that's how you that's how you keep the pride strong. You feel me? I heard. <laughs> Straight up. The, the oh, strongest man. man win. No, this this ain't me, bro. I didn't make this shit up. <laughs> this is this is this is real shit. Hey, I heard that, Real bro. Real biological game, man. I heard that. Straight the fuck up. Um, last one. Every woman, every female want to fuck that male, whatever, the strongest mm -hmm. male. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, Mitch, hmm. does- uh, They're going to hate me after this shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to all my ladies. Yeah. Shout out to all my ladies, even the hoes. I love y'all, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but salute and respect to all the women that ain't- Around yeah. here, just throwing that thing around. You feel me? Straight up. A hey, question for you. Straight up. Is it ever okay for one of your homies to smash one of your exes? Is it okay? Yeah. A day. What? She's an ex, homie. Stop, Mitch. Bro, listen. It's okay. 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 It's okay for any nigga to smash any girl that lets him smash. So you, if you was in a relationship with a girl, mm -hmm. y'all break up. Mm -hmm. It's cool for Donna to smash her. What I'm saying is, is any girl that I was in a real relationship with, mm -hmm. with like that, mm -hmm. if she, I'm not gonna pick no girl that's gonna do no shit like that. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Now, of course, it's always exception to everything. You mm -hmm. might find a bitch that's just burnt. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But for yeah. the most part, you know, if you pick a woman to be that woman and be the one, you got You got to You put her through the thorough testing and shit, and she gonna be the type of woman that got woman that got enough respect for herself mm. to not have to to not be able to have me and dine able to say that about her homie. You know I, what feel saying? You. I feel you. I don't want no girl that don't got enough respect for herself to do that. And you you can know who they are. I feel you. All you gotta do is watch they 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 so they they conduct on social media. Yes sir. I like to get the ones that don't even like no social media, god damn it. I love it bro. You're right. You You're right. Me? You're right. Believe me for every woman that just says, oh it's just social media, hey bitch <laughs> do you know? And I know you know it's you know it's girls that don't even got social media and don't think that shit is cool, right? Yeah. It's some. Yeah. No disrespect to all the homegirls that got social media. <laughs> oh, but y'all know y'all got some homegirls that's like, ah, oh, I don't got, I don't fuck with social media. I'm doing my shit, whatever, whatever. So now, women, Mr. Right, Mr. Perfect. I ain't Mr. Perfect. I ain't gonna act like I'm Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect, he get to make his own female up and mm -hmm. throw all the ingredients, like Weird Science, the movie. He get to pick. They got the one. They get to pick. Woman that has social media. Woman that doesn't have social media. Which one you think he gonna pick? Woman don't have social media. There we go. Last question, Mitch. Mm -hmm. Your favorite taco shop in San Diego. Forty third. Ooh. Forty third. Yeah. What you what you order when you go there? Corn and salad burrito, uh, cheese and sour cream only. Mm. And then um. And if it's if it's a Roberto somewhere, I like to get the um, I like to get the chicken tacos with just sour cream and cheese, and don't make the shells too hard. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And then I got another <coughs> well, earthy. You know, a lot of times they give you the beans. My fucking number two beans. Yeah. Put a little salt, pepper in them beans. Little and tell them to put a little sour cream, a little cheese in the <laughs> motherfuckers. Get you some chips. Them beans to go. And hey, that's a Mitch. That's the you put that on the uh, on the on the on the menu. Mitchy Mitchy special. Mitchy special. Straight up. Hey man, I appreciate you for coming on, man. Like I said, I see you. You're a very busy person, man. And you know what I'm saying. And and uh, you you're everywhere, bro. You are everywhere. And you spent some time with a brother today, man. I appreciate you, bro. And like I said, I was nigga, a, he and I, I man, I, I, 
<laughs> Listen here, much respect, homie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Much respect, homie. This was this was fun, homie. I just want to let you know too that you do mean a lot to San Diego. Um, a lot of things that people don't see. I see that you do a lot of uh, uh, charities and, and for the kids and and, and for uh, for the youth that you that the social media don't see. You know what I'm saying? So I want to highlight that that you do a lot of stuff for the for the community. And um, I be forgetting I be doing that shit, homie. Yeah. Every year, homie, I I do a drive, homie, with my family, homie. Um, Shabak. Um, right now, I got, uh, Shabak Hood Beast Motorcycle Club. Every year, Christmas, mm -hmm. man, we gave out over a hundred thousand toys this year, homie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like five, six, seven thousand kids getting toys. This is twenty years running, homie. Yeah. Now I haven't been solely, solely doing this, but I most definitely have been helping and supporting this for all the way back then. And now I be I be right in the middle of that shit. And then every Sunday, if you come to Logan Avenue, Euclid, um, it's for everybody. But all the mamas and all the families over there in the community, especially ones that watched me and looked out for me coming up, man, y'all can come get free food mm -hmm. every Sunday. <laughs> I don't got no 18 wheeler full of, full, of, full of food or nothing like that, but I most definitely can feed a few families on me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You come down to Logan and Euclid, shout out to my brother Herm, you know what I'm saying? Monster Herm down there at Monster, my, um, my, um, Monster Squad Fitness. Yeah. You can go down there, he gonna have that shit set up pretty, meats, vegetables, canned goods, whatever we can, um, Put together for the people, you know what I'm saying. You created safe zones for kids in the past. You created jobs for people where you know, no matter where that were, uh, you know, the hood that was from. You know what I'm saying. You created jobs for a lot of people in the past. I did, I did my research for sure, bro. Much love, um, yeah, what like I say, man, we appreciate you what you're doing, San Diego, dude. And listen, man, I I see what you're doing. I see where how you, you you're trying to help out the city and uplift the city. Yes, you know what I'm saying. And a lot of things that you said today, it was inspiring for sure, bro. Mm -hmm. And they got a lot of knowledge from this interview. You know what I mean? So like I say, man, I appreciate you for uh, taking your time and come kicking it, man. That means a lot, man. You you mean a lot to us in the, in the city, bro. Just Much let you know that, man. You, you, probably love, don't, bro. you probably don't feel the love, but you know, there's a lot of people that love Mitchie. I feel the love, homie. I feel the love. I do. Okay. I ain't going to say like I don't feel the love. I feel the love. But at the same time, we got to love ourselves, not just Mitchie. We right. got to love the town more. Gotcha. San Diego got to understand that whoever y'all love and whoever y'all put on this pedestal, he is cut from the same material. He's made out of the same blood and flesh that we are from. Y'all actually got superstars in San Diego. The only reason why y'all ain't, they ain't all the way superstars is because the people haven't accepted that this could actually happen in San Diego. You mm. can have stars in San Diego. Man, as soon as one nigga get on and get all the way up and everybody start, in, in, come on, this hood. And, and another thing, it ain't going to be just one motherfucker that get it. It's gonna take somebody from every neighborhood to in, to in, to to create this market. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We don't need one nigga riding around in the goddamn uh, 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 Rari. No, we need a nigga from every hood, and then he sprinkles it to his people. We're gonna have to bounce off each other, and that's because it's a numbers game now. It's the algorithm shit. Yeah. We got to be able to do songs with a, a nigga from across town, and then both of our fan bases. You know what I'm saying? Build together and share. If it ain't nobody else popping but one nigga, who he gonna do songs with? Facts. You know what I mean? Hey man, Michi Michi Slay has spoken, bro. Once again, man, you wanna leave anything before we, before we head out? Yeah, man. Just um just um What can I say, man? Shout out to all the homies that was there, you know what I'm saying, way back, homie. Rest in peace to my brother Jank, you know what I'm saying? Uh rest in peace to my brother Way, man, you know what I'm saying? Wayman, homie, Chosh Nitty, uh, you know what I'm saying? All the supporters. Free my nigga Bo, City Kitty Bo, free my nigga Lil Mad Bobo, T Mighty, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't name every homie, you know what I'm saying? Blackout, all the homies, homie, that's down, just know. Every homie that's, that stepped foot up out of that Logan Ave, off Mount Amet, Salola, Bay Vista, man, free my niggas. Ain't nothing worse than my real fr family and friends not being able to be here and being stuck up in them goddamn stoops, and I mean, up in them jail cells and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I do this for my community, bro, and I do it for my city. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure that niggas they can't they can't laugh when they mention San Diego. And I don't be hearing that. I don't yeah. go nowhere, and they be no. I don't I don't hear that. I think that's just a little internet kids and shit a little bit. You know what I mean? That's facts. L.A. niggas, L.A. niggas, I.E. niggas, the Bay niggas, they all respect San Diego. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I be around all these niggas. I fuck with them everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Long Beach, Compton, watch niggas. I done been all everywhere, homie. They 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 respect it. I heard that, bro. Hey, man, this is Big Hendo. Hendo Unplugged. Mitchie Slick, the legend in the building, man. Once again, appreciate you guys. And we out, man. We'll see you guys. Yeah, that.